Welcome back to the series on Matrix Math. This is Matt from Code Tech Tutorials. It's been a minute. I've been a little under the weather, a little sick. So uh, smash the like button to help me get better. I don't know how it helps, but it does. So uh, please, please do it. And also subscribe and turn notifications on. Thank you very much. Okay. Submatrices and partitioning. We're going to talk a little bit about this today. This is actually a pretty important little subject that, uh, yeah, I find it to be kind of cool. So let's let's just jump into it. Okay, so a submatrix is, okay, well, let me, let me throw up a little matrix here. Say we have one, two, three, I don't know, five, seven, two, one, four, eight, seven, six, nine, two, one, one, one. Okay, that makes it easy. So this is a four by four matrix, and we can sub matrix it by putting lines through it, like like so, and have little sub matrices. So we'd have a matrix here, and here, and here, and here. So we can grab four sub matrices out of it. However, you can put these lines anywhere. Like you can subdivide it like so, and have. Uh, matrix here, matrix here, matrix here. So you can subdivide it however you need. And that's the cool thing. Like you could do it like this, and you have a little 2, 3, 5 matrix there, a 7, 8, 2, 1 there. Um, but we're going to keep it simple and we're going to keep it nice and squared for our examples. So what you can do here is you can you can multiply two matrices together. Say we had another another matrix and say it's also a 4 by 4. I'll just make a new layer for this. So what you can do is you can if you have two matrices you're going to multiply together you can subdivide or partition and then multiply the partitions together and just do a part at a time which can often save you a lot of work if you know you only need one section of a matrix or you can also break up the tasks if it's a really giant matrix that way you can handle it in chunks because if you're trying to do like a 16 by 16 by hand it's going to take so much space on a, on a piece of paper or whatever it is you're doing it on so you might want to subdivide it up and do pieces at a time. So let me give you a little example of the syntax. We're just going to use some letters here. We'll use uh, just say we have matrix A and and rather than fill out every element, let's just let's just say it's a two by eight. No, let's say it's a four by four. It doesn't really matter for this example. Four by four is fine. But what is important to know is that uh, how it's subdivided, and we want to label each of these. So uh, we'll, we'll call this matrix X, we'll call this one Y, we'll call this one Z, and we'll call this one W. Actually, you know, let's, let's start with W. W, X, Y, Z. And say we have matrix B, and... I made this one kind of big, but oh well. And matrix B will be the same. We'll say it's a 4 by 4 as well. So if we're evenly dividing it, each of these are going to be little 2 by 2s. As you can imagine. The dot, 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 you know, four different elements in each one. And combined together, you'll get a 4 by 4. So this is just the example we're using. But I, I just want to show you kind of how it works when you multiply them together, because that's kind of the main thing you do when you're partitioning, usually, unless you're just grabbing a certain certain row or something, and you, you know you partition off that first row. Uh, okay, and we'll call this one. Oh, we need some of the other letters. Let's call it P Q. Um, uh, well, <laughs> come on, ABCs, come to me. Uh, RS. PQRS. So if we want to get the product of these or multiply these together, 
what we can do is we can say, uh, I, got, I think I got enough room here. AB is going to be equal to, uh, don't want to make that a less than sign. And if you remember the multiplication, I think that's tutorial four or five, if you go back, if you're not sure. But multiplication is you do the row times column thing. So it would be, uh, well, this first quadrant would end up being, let's see, W times P plus X times R. Do I got that right? Yeah. So you could calculate that up and get the first quadrant there of the result, or the first 2 by 2 of the result. And you could do a similar thing for the rest. So for this one, it's going to be WQ plus. Uh, let's see, what would this be? Um, X, S. There we go. And down here, we're going to do about the same thing. We're going to have, uh, let's see, Y, P. Oh, whoops, not R, P. Plus... Z R. And this last one, of course, is going to be make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, Y Q plus Z S. So then you have it broken up and you can do these in steps. So you can calculate this one. And then this one, and then this one. And if you have a giant, giant matrix, it just it just makes it a little better sometimes to be able to do this. So that that's kind of the main thing here. Uh, we can also say, going back to this first example, um, uh, okay, yeah, going back to this first example. Well, let's. Let's call this A for this particular example. A. We could say that things are a submatrix. So say we have another matrix called B, and it is uh, it is one, two, seven, two. We could say that B is a submatrix of A because it's in this, and we say where we cut it. To get that submatrix, so you can do that anywhere. So if you have another one, say one that's two, three, five, you could also say this is a sub C is a submatrix of A if you cut it like so. It's right there, and you can also say A is a submatrix of itself with no cuts. So that's a thing too. Well, that's pretty much everything about submatrices and partitioning. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to like, hit subscribe with the notification bells on. Bells. I don't know how it works now. They changed it where you get to choose now, apparently. And I appreciate all the support. Hope you guys are doing great with your programming and your matrix math. I'll be here. Ask me questions, uh, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.